What's up guys, Ecoist here, and I recently came across a Bun L chart video where he talks about if we even need these crazy biomedias that are coming out, and he says we could probably get by with some sponges to satisfy our biological filtration needs. And I looked through the comments and I found a comment from Harry Armstrong where he linked a scientific paper on where the nitrifying bacteria like to live. Shout out to both of them for finding this valuable information and I think this can save you a lot of money in the future when you're deciding how you're going to filter your tank. So first let's go over the summary of the research article. First they said that we'll focus on AOA and AOB bacteria, but since we care about fresh water we'll only worry about AOA bacteria. AOA just means ammonia oxidizing archaea bacteria, and it isn't really important what it is really, but all you have to know is that it's the dominant ammonia oxidizing microorganism in freshwater aquarium biofilters. Basically, it does the heavy lifting. Beyond, the researchers tested AOA abundance in three materials, fine sponge, rough sponge, and centered glass or ceramic rings. All the media types of freshwater biofilters that they used, they found out that AOA preferentially grew on the fine sponge. I just realized that I'm literally recording my saltwater tank instead of my freshwater tank, and yeah, I guess we'll just have to go with that. Anyways, I'm not really going to go over the methods and materials because they don't really matter to the average hobbyist like me. The most important part is that they used six freshwater tanks and one marine tank, and they collected AOA populations four to five times over four months. I'm not sure why they decided to use one marine tank, that seems like a weird ratio, but luckily we're talking about freshwater tanks so we don't really have to worry about that. And you know what, since they only use one marine tank, I might as well show some marine tank representation, you know? We need to have more of that in this hobby. So when we go to the actual results in which we look at a tank in 5 and 6, we see that in tank 5, relative AOA abundance was highest in the middle compartment, which is a sponge, followed by the bottom compartment, which is ceramic, and the top compartment, which is glass. For F6, which is tank 6, relative AOA concentrations peaked in the top compartment, which was a fine sponge, followed by the middle compartment, which is a rough sponge, and the bottom compartment, which was ceramic. Both filters had a bottom to top flow pattern, but the trends in tank 5 suggest that AOA was not influenced by the position with respect to the water flow. The highest AOA numbers were found in the fine sponge material for both tanks 5 and tank 6, suggesting a preferential AOA growth or a biofilm attachment to sponge material. They concluded that the fine sponge material has a high surface area that can help support biofilm attachment which would be especially advantageous under high upflow velocities and short hydraulic retention times, whatever that means, found in aquarium biofilters. Some other miscellaneous things that I found in the conclusion section is that AOB bacteria are commonly used in commercial bacteria supplements. You know, all the nitrogen cycle kickstarters you buy. And they go on saying that AOB is useful when you first start an aquarium, but in the long run, it might be more useful to make more AOA supplements, because the research suggests that that species of bacteria will end up becoming the dominant population over time. They also stated that AOB bacteria might have a bigger role in saltwater tanks. See, there we go, some marine representation. And it would be interesting to see the exact differences in required maintenance for freshwater and saltwater tanks because of the differences in populations of the two species of bacteria. These two topics are pretty interesting, and they'll probably be brought up in future videos, but for now, let's focus on freshwater filter media. The main takeaway from this study is that nitrifying bacteria prefer fine sponge media over ceramic media, and I think I'll start using less ceramic media and more sponges and see how that works for me. There may even be a point where I don't even use ceramic media anymore, but that would be after a little bit of testing on my end. After all, this is only one study, but it brings up the interesting question on whether we even need ceramic media. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you in a bit.